Good evening and welcome to this virtual event uh, that will focus on the special programs and schools offered by Dallas ISD. And we are so glad you were able to join us this evening because you'll get to hear more about the new application system for all of these great programs, as well as about the programs themselves. Um, and we really have some incredible opportunities for students at every single level. I want to make sure to let you know that our application deadline has been extended to Sunday, February 7th, so be sure to get those applications in as soon as possible. Before I introduce our first speaker, I want to remind you that if you already know the program you want to apply for, you can go to www.dallasisd.org slash choose Dallas ISD and start applying. We do have folks on the line ready to help you as well. Please call 972-925-5560. They will be there until 8 p.m. tonight and from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. during the rest of the week. So now we're going to hear from Jorge Flores from our One Centers team about our new application system and School Finder. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jorge Flores. Thank you very much for being here. We've got some great information for you. Um, well, first let's start um, that uh, we have uh, the, uh, 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 we have a, a new system to apply, to enroll and to apply for our different programs. It is called uh, Choose Dallas ISD, where you'll be able to find your neighborhood school that you're assigned to, but also apply to other great programs that we have around the district. Um, one of the things that you'll find on the website of Choose Dallas ISD uh, is uh, some icons and information with videos um, and, and links to, to webinars that we've had in the past, but it's a great system that we're going to uh, be glad to share with you. Next slide. So uh, again, going back to uh, letting you all know that um, your first choice will always be um, your neighborhood school. And your neighborhood school is determined by your um, your uh, address, and that uh, gives you your zoned neighborhood school. Um, and of course, we have the second choice where you may want to go ahead and have a child, your child, uh, apply for our some of our great programs that we have as well. And uh, that would be your second choice, your school choice. Next slide, please. So, how do we come to this one application uh, system of Choose Dallas ISD? Well, initially we had a uh, decentralized application process uh, and that included uh, the OTI programs uh, who had their own application. They have, we had the magnet programs, the collegiate academies, my programs are the transfers um, from one neighborhood school to another, IB programs, dual language. So as you could see, everyone had their own application and everyone had different um, uh, different deadlines, different things, but different portals to get to them. So now we have a one centralized application for you where you can actually choose up to five choices from all of those different types of programs. And so we're very, very happy to, to have started that. Next slide, please. So what does this mean for our families? It is a great benefit uh, for our families, because now you have a one-stop shop for all your uh, uh, all the things that you want for your family regarding to finding your neighborhood school or applying. So you can apply, you can enroll, uh, you can choose up to five different choices for your for your schools that you want and programs that you want to, and it's all in one process, one timeline, one system. It really is a great system for our parents. Next slide, please. So again, I wanted to go ahead and show you as well, your, your first choice is always going to be your neighborhood choice. And that is determined, you can use the school finder system, which where you can input your, your home address, your, uh, the grade level for your child. And when you click on it, it will show you your assigned school, your assigned neighborhood school. So that would be always your default uh, choice of schools. Next slide, please. So, but along with it, now you can also apply for the different programs. So, okay. So for the different programs, here's an example. 
So sorry, just to interrupt real quick. Sorry, we are having an issue with our interpretation. So if we can have you mute yourself, that would be perfect. And we will get back to it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jorge. Please continue. You might have to reassign me. Uh, that way you won't be able to hear me. Thank you all very much for, for your patience. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and go ahead and continue. So say you wanna go ahead and apply for some of our programs uh, other than your neighborhood school. So you can apply for up to five. Here's an example. We have a, a, a student who's applied for uh, up to five different programs. And you'll see that they applied for a magnet program, a transformation school, a collegiate academy, uh, a regular IB neighborhood school, and um, a, um, a, a, a a PTAC, I think, as well. Um, and so all of this is done uh, remembering that your first choice that you've selected is always going to be the priority choice. So you'll have one optimal ex acceptance. And if you don't get into your first choice, you will have the ability to be on a wait list. So uh, that is our brand new uh, Choose Dallas ISD system for our parents. Next slide, please. So here is, um, along with, uh, you know, starting with, with the programs that we're gonna talk to you about, I'd like to go ahead and begin with uh, one of the first options that many parents choose, and that's uh, a school transfer. So all of our schools are rich in history, tradition, great programs, but let's just say you wanna transfer from your neighborhood school to another school. So we know first that any child in K to 12th already has an assigned school and it's determined by their address. However, if you want to uh, find your assigned school, you can always use the dallasisd.org forward slash school finder. And, um, but uh, if you wanna go ahead and change to a different neighborhood school, you can, and it's called a student transfer. You can uh, select a student transfer uh, to get a permission to attend a different neighborhood school. Uh, next slide, please. So transfers uh, to another neighborhood schools are for grades K to 12. There are two types of transfers, uh, students. One is uh, your child is either gonna be an in-district student, that means you, you reside and you live within the boundaries of Dallas ISD, or you're uh, perhaps outside of our school boundaries and that, then you're an out-of-district out student. You live in Mesquite, uh, Plano, Richardson. We have students uh, applying for our schools as far as Fort Worth uh, and uh, Waxahachie. So the permission is always gonna be based primarily on space availability at the, for the requested grade for, at the school that you're requesting. In addition, the school may also review the student's grades, disciplinary history, and their attendance record. One thing to remember about when you request a student transfer, uh, there is no transportation provided by the district for those who, who get selected to be on a student transfer to another neighborhood school. But you can also only need to apply only once because your child will be able to attend that school up to the highest grade level offered. And for any more information on student tra transfers, you can always uh, log in to dallasisd.org forward slash student transfers. Thank you all very much. We'll, we can continue. Thank you, that's, that's my part. Thank you so much, Jorge. Um, that was really great information. I also want to make sure our viewers know that we will be answering your questions at the end of our presentations, but you can ask your questions at any point um, during this meeting simply by writing them in the Q&A box. So now we're going to get to our presentations of programs and we are going to start with a video about our talented and gifted programs. Dallas ISD's talented and gifted or TAG program provides students with high abilities, a rigorous curriculum, and teachers with the training and skills to motivate and address the needs of gifted students. The TAG program cultivates the unique abilities of each individual while addressing the four core academic areas, reading and language arts, math, science, and social studies. Dallas ISD's TAG programs also promote the full development of a student's intellectual, creative, leadership, or visual arts and performing arts abilities. 
Students in the TAG program demonstrate skills in self-directed learning, critical thinking, research, and communication. This setting provides the opportunity to interact with intellectual peers in academic, creative, aesthetic, and social endeavors. Choose a Dallas ISD talented and gifted program and empower your highly capable student to remain challenged and thrive in a school and in future aspirations. Apply at dallasisd.org slash choose Dallas ISD. All right, now we will hear from our Magnet Tag and Visual Arts team. Hello. Uh, good evening, my name is Nancy Rubio. I am the Magnet Coordinator and I am happy to be here to tell you a little bit more about our Magnet programs. Uh, one of the main differences between Magnet schools and other choice programs is that Magnet schools have academic requirements to apply. Admission, the admission process is also based on school specific assessment that is taken at the Magnet School of Choice. Magnet schools are also designed around models such as TAG, the arts, Montessori, STEM, and career exploration. Magnet schools also offer transportation to students living with, within the Dallas ISD boundaries. Next slide, please. In order to apply, students must meet a minimum grade point average and a minimum test score. The GPA for most of our schools is 75% grade point average. The schools with the higher requirements are the talented and gifted schools and the science and engineering magnet, which require an 80% grade point average. This year, because the district did not administer the STAR test, we are taking the 40th percentile on the fall ACP reading and math, or the 40th percentile on the beginning of the year MAP test Again, for the talented and gifted schools and science and engineering magnet, where the requirement is higher, the 70th percentile is required. Once the magnet school of choice verifies a student meets these requirements, the student moves on to the magnet school assessment part of the process. The magnet school will reach out to the parent and schedule this assessment. Next slide, please. <coughs> Excuse me. The next part of the magnet process is a selection process. All students who pass the magnet assessment will go into the selection process. The top 30% of seats are awarded district-wide by rank ordering applicants based on overall assessment score. The remaining 70% of the seats are distributed across the district's feeder patterns to ensure a diverse student population. <coughs> Excuse me. This is also subject to the sibling rule, which applies to the pre-K through eighth grade Montessori schools in which in-district qualified siblings are placed first. We also have the sibling preference, which applies to the fourth through eighth grade programs in which qualified siblings are awarded five extra points on the magnet assessment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also with this selection process, Qualified in-district students will be seated first, followed by any qualified out-of-district students. Next slide, please. <clears throat> our magnet programs offer 10 elementary school options. All our elementary programs begin at fourth grade with the exception of Dealey and Harry Stone, which begin at pre-K four, and Mark Twain and Trinity Heights, which begin at first grade. Next slide, please. Our magnet programs offer 17 middle school options going from eighth grade options through eighth grade with the exception of Irma Rangel, Young Women's Leadership and Barack Obama Male Leadership, which go through 12th grade. Next slide, please. And finally, with our magnet high school programs, we have 10 high school options which include performing and visual arts, talented and gifted, science programs, and several career-focused programs. We thank you so much for your time, and we encourage you to apply to our wonderful magnet programs. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Right now, we're going to be learning a little bit about our transformation and innovation schools and watch another video.
Imagine a school designed with your child in mind. That is exactly what Dallas ISD's Transformation Schools do. These new transformation campuses are designed around innovative instructional models such as exploratory arts, leadership, Montessori, STEM and STEAM, personalized learning, technology and project-based learning, and urban planning, architecture, and environmental science. Transformation schools aim to provide a best fit educational experience for every student. These schools are open enrollment, which means they are open to all students, no matter where they live. Plus, there are no academic entry requirements Students are selected for enrollment through a randomized lottery and transportation is provided within district boundaries. If you are a parent who dreams of finding a school tailored to your child's unique abilities, choose a Dallas ISD Transformation School. Apply at dallasisd.org slash choose Dallas ISD. Great, now we will hear from our transformation and innovation team. Thank you. My name is Elena Bates. I'm one of the uh, team members in our Office of Transformation and Innovation. Our goal is to find, help you find the best fit school for your students. Our transformation schools, as shown in the video, are open enrollment campuses designed around those instructional models that were shown to you. There are no academic entry requirements and we do have transportation if you live within district boundaries. Remember that our, um, we have a randomized lottery and research shows that uh, socioeconomic diverse schools are better for student performance. So please take a look at our transformation schools if you are interested and we'll go to the next slide to look at the models. As explained in the video, we have multiple instructional models in our transformation schools like STEM and STEAM personalized learning. We are very excited to open two new transformation schools. The um, word has just come out. We have a hybrid school opening in the fall where just like students have the option now to um, attend a few days at the campus and a few days at home through virtual remote learning. So please look at the website, choose Dallas look for our hybrid school, and then another international baccalaureate uh, proposal school for our South Dallas families. And that is housed at our, um, in a, with a great partnership at Paul Quinn College and a designated HBCU. And that will also be opening in August. If we move to the next slide, we'll look at our innovation schools. Our innovation schools are neighborhood schools. You just simply need to attend the school to receive um, instruction in an innovative model designed by the campus for campus students. Students who live outside the school attendance zone can attend if space is possible. Next slide. Some of the same models as you found in transformation schools are offered in our innovation schools along with expeditionary learning, new tech, single gender schools. So we do encourage you to complete the applications that were extended through February 7th. Call our phone bank or um, our teams are there to help you at 972-925. 5560 and visit those campus websites to find out more information about this, the school that best fits your students. Thank you. Thank you, Elena. All right. It is time for another video. This one is for dual language. My husband and I, when our son was about to enter into kindergarten, we were excited that there was a dual language program offered. As a, a parent, um, I'm very involved in, me and my wife are very involved in our kids 
uh, becoming successful education wise. We thought it was really important for our kids to be able to have an opportunity to be exposed to another language and to to learn about other cultures and through learning a different language. It gives them opportunity to be more sociable and have other network opportunities and be able to just be able to communicate on, a, on other levels besides the environment level that they're at. Just as we see our, our city and our culture um, so influenced by Spanish culture, we've loved our kids um, having a broader understanding um, of the language um, and being able to learn um, a language alongside their native English language. Um, but I would recommend it for anybody to do it. I mean, it, we're trying to have a better society and it starts with our younger children. So um, I think in order for her to be a great leader, she has to pick up something extra like this. And I think this will benefit her. All right, now let's hear from our dual language team. Hello, good evening. Uh, thank you for being here today. Uh, my name is Hippolito Rodriguez. I'm representing our dual language program. Um, our program goes from pre-K all the way to 12th grade. Um, as you can see over here, it offers opportunity to learn how to speak, write, and listen, and think in two languages. Um, because our students are learning in two languages, it strengthens the thinking and problem solving skills. In addition to all the cognitive uh, benefit, it also increased the global awareness and cultural diversity. Next slide, please. Now we have dual language program in, at the elementary level and also at the secondary level. As you can see here on this table at the elementary level, pre-K through first grade, 70% of the instruction on the content instruction will be conducted in Spanish and 30% will be conducted in English. Then after second grade, all the way to fifth grade for the elementary level, it goes 50-50 for content instruction. So 50% will be in Spanish, 50% uh, will be in English. Now students in our secondary level will have two courses, 100% in Spanish each year. And then for the remainder of the, uh, remainder of the course, 100% will be in English each year. Next slide, please. If you would like more information about our program, please visit our website. And also you can send out an email right there to a language at Dallas ISD. And you can follow, all, follow us also in Twitter. Thank you so much. And this is my part. Thank you so much. All right, now we will watch a video about our early learning programs. A child's brain develops faster during ages 0 through 5 than at any other time, especially when exposed to high-quality, enriching learning experiences. Pre-K programs are essential in teaching children social skills, emotional development, and academic readiness. Dallas ISD Pre-K programs provide an environment for children to explore, learn with peers, and build self-confidence. I feel like pre-K has boosted my daughter's confidence. Ever since coming here, she is she's reading better, she's recognizing her words and letters better, and she's even helping her little brother learn. In a Dallas ISD pre-K classroom, children's literacy skills are nurtured in a language-rich environment. Teachers help children strengthen these important literacy skills by introducing new vocabulary during daily read aloud time, having children talk about books, learn rhymes, sing, and practice language use through two-way conversations with others. We have a lot of fun in a classroom. To build critical thinking, teachers engage students through asking thought-provoking questions to give children opportunities to express ways of thinking. Let's not forget about creative movement and art expression. Both give children additional opportunities to build confidence. I would tell a family that pre-K is awesome, it's super important, and they should definitely get their kids enrolled as soon as possible. Give the gift of a brighter future. Enroll your child in Dallas ISD Pre-K today. Awesome, all right, now we will hear from our early learning team. 
Good evening, everyone. My name is Lorelei Berrios, and I am representing the early learning team. I work with pre-K enrollment. Um, so that video just highlighted all the wonderful opportunities that pre-K has to offer. In Dallas ISD, we do offer pre-K starting at three years old. We also have a four-year-old program. Um, and students have to be of age by September 1st of that calendar school year. So research has shown that students that participate in pre-K do enter kindergarten with strong reading skills, math skills, vocabulary, social skills. And so really all in all, it's a great foundation and gives your child a great start for school success um, and even up into high school and going into college. As Mr. Flores mentioned early on in our presentation, your first choice best fit school would be your neighborhood school. We do have pre-K available in 148 elementary campuses. However, if you are interested in some of our choice programs, um, we do have pre-K in our choice programs as well. Next slide. As you can see here, we do have four transformation schools that start at pre-K three. We have two magnet schools that start at pre-K four, and then we have an additional four transformation schools that also start at pre-K four. And as um, our transformation team discussed earlier and our magnet team discussed earlier, um, if you are wanting to apply to these schools, you would apply now. If it's a transformation school, you would put um, your information in for the lottery. And for the magnet, there is an assessment piece that students um, need to qualify by. Next slide, please. So that being said, we do encourage if you have friends, neighbors, little ones who are interested in pre-K, you are welcome to contact us. Our contact information is on the screen. You can visit our website, www.prekdallas.org. You're welcome to give us a call or you can even text us or you can email us as well. Thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you, Lorelai. All right, we have for our next video, we are going to be learning a little bit about our P Tech and early college programs. What I love about Dallas is I can learn and grow so much in this city. I'm Vanessa. I live with my two parents, my sister and my brother. Since I was little, I've always been interested in how technology works. I just saw P-TECH as an opportunity to learn something new. Raising Vanessa, I think we've been very blessed with her. And watching her with her brother and sister, it brings joy to my heart. To be a big sister is knowing to set a good example for my siblings to follow in. <laughs> I had started playing basketball my freshman year of high school. It was her first year playing. She was excited. That night when she got injured, she definitely was bummed out. Mentally, it kind of threw me off. Basketball was my way of helping with that mental health. I had to overcome that challenge, and I picked up a new sport. But she still continued, you know, practicing the skills that she could. Just watching her persevere, I mean, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, that's everybody, that's what you want for your child. If I had to compare golf to a subject in school, it would definitely be physics. Golf at first was extremely challenging than physics. Once I started getting the hang of all the calculations, I started passing with A's. There is a lot of pressure from my mom. That's one of the reasons why I strive for those A's. But the thing is, it's good pressure. Yes, <laughs> setting high expectations is a great thing, but we know that they can handle it only because they know they have support I've watched Vanessa blossom through p -Tech. I have seen leadership come out of her. You, you want nothing but the best from, you know, the best education. She pretty much did it on her own, and that's when I knew, you know, we had something special. I saw p -Tech as an opportunity for me to better my future, to be a Hispanic woman in tech. I can't say that I see a lot of people like myself. I know that by doing this, I'll show others that you can follow your dreams. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I'm Vanessa, and I am P-TECH. All right, let's hear from our P-TECH and early college high schools team. Thank you, Jessica. 
Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Nithya Govindasamy. I'm here representing the P-TECH and Early College Programs team. Um, we're excited to share uh, more about the P-TECH program with you. P-TECH itself stands for um, Pathways to Technology Early College um, High Schools. And essentially what the P-TECH and Early College Programs is about is we offer an opportunity for high school students to earn up to 60, 60 college credit hours um, while they're in high school. So um, they are both a high school and college student, and it is at no cost to um, the parents or the students. Pretty much everything that um, involves going to college, such as textbooks, the transportation, all of those things are covered through the program. Um, the other really exciting thing about our P-TECH and early college programs is that we have um, targeted areas and um, pathways that are future opportunities for students. So we're focused heavily on technology, engineering. Um, we have criminal justice, business. There are several business management and administration programs. There is software programming, hospitality management, a few other things that are not listed here. Um, education is also one of the programs that we have. So next slide, please. It's, and what the model itself, I'll tell you about P-TECH first, uh, stands for is a high school, a college, and industry partners uh, in the community working together to prepare students for um, middle skill jobs. So the P-TECH model requires every campus that we have, we have 18 P-TECH campuses in Dallas ISD. Um, all of those campuses have industry partners that work with our schools and the school leadership to not just coach and develop students, but also provide opportunities such as internships and career development and coaching for their future. Next slide, please. We have two different models within the P-TECH and early college program. So the P-TECH model, as I mentioned, um, offers the 60 credit hours. You have the higher education partners as well as the associate degree option. And then the one unique factor is that you have industry partners that are partnered with the campus. For early college programs, they are standalone high schools. And what they offer is very similar. They do have the 60 credit hours. Um, they also have the option to complete an associate's degree, but the focus is more general. It doesn't have the different career tracks that I shared earlier. So that is the major difference between the two programs. Next slide, please. Some of the highlights of the program and what students can benefit from. So they do get their four-year uh, degree, high school diploma through the P-TECH and early college program. They start out, um, if they're in the P-TECH side, they will be on the high school campus um, their first year and part of their second year and then transition over to be on college campuses their junior and senior year on the early college uh, high schools that we have, they are usually at the school the whole time because it is um, usually co-located with the college. The um, students also, as I mentioned, can earn up to 60 credit hours. They can earn an associate's degree if they complete everything that's in their degree plan. They do have an opportunity to earn career and technology certifications. We offer uh, Microsoft certifications as well as other uh, highly sought after industry recognized credentials. They do have access to career opportunities and um, internships, paid internships primarily with our industry partners. The industry partners and the companies that work with us um, also help mentor our students and they offer a variety of things so students have a better idea of what types of careers and opportunities are available to them once they leave um, the P-TECH and early college program. So we're really focused on giving students exposure uh, for um, better understanding of the various careers that will be available to them and the income potential of those careers once they leave. The other thing our industry partners commit to is they do provide first in line job interviews, which just means that when students are seeking jobs at the end of their program, they can apply with the industry partners directly and have those opportunities available to them. I think that is the last slide. So um, I'll turn it back over to Jessica. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Nithya. All right, we have one more video for you guys and it is about our career institutes. 
calling all motivated, creative, and energetic students. Are you ready to be a part of an exciting new program in Dallas ISD? Introducing Career Institutes. Learn how to work in construction, aviation, plumbing, solar technology, interior design, HVAC, and mechatronics. The workforce industry needs you, and these are the jobs of the future. So, if you're ready to earn career certifications and get to work right after high school, Career Institutes is for you. The only question left is, what will your pathway be? All right, last but not least, let's hear from Career Institutes. Hi, my name is Becky Barker, and I am one of the coordinators with Career Institutes. Uh, first of all, we are a, not a school, we're a program and we're associated with um, high, home high schools uh, near us. You can tell we're a hands-on school. Uh, we have uh, aviation, cybersecurity, different forms of construction. Uh, we have interior design, we have advanced manufacturing, we have health science uh, and information technology. We want to have students uh, that want to go to work right after high school, uh, get the skills that they need to be placed in high demand jobs uh, with above average salaries. Next slide. This is one of the Career Institutes. Uh, this is Career Institutes East. We're located directly behind Lincoln High School in the Instructional Center. And we are an extension of the following schools, Brian Adams, Spruce, Lincoln, the great James Madison, and Woodrow Wilson. Next year, we will be adding Samuel. And these are the pathways that we offer. What I mean by an extension of these schools, we uh, actually provide the electives that may not be able to be found on that campus. Next slide. Another Career Institute North is located in the uh, Midway LBJ area. And these are the high schools that uh, we serve, Hillcrest, W.T. White, Conrad, Thomas Jefferson, and North Dallas. And these are the uh, pathways that we offer at CI North. Next slide. In South Dallas, we have the Charmaine and Robert Price Career Institute, and it's over at Village Fair. They serve the Carter, Roosevelt, Kimball, Molina, South Oak Cliff, Pinkston, Sunset, and Adamson. So what we're all about, we're a hands-on school, 70% hands-on. If you've seen any of these pathways that you or your child may be interested in, there is no application. There's no requirements. All you have to do is let your counselor know. Students can still participate in sports at those home high schools. So that's important. We're not trying to take anything away. We're just trying to add to it. Um, so we want you to be able to participate in clubs and organizations and sports. Free transportation. We actually, DISD picks you up by bus at the home high school brings you to the Career Institutes, and then we'll take you back to the home high school. So everything that you've seen in the Career Institutes is completely free. Uh, students also have the opportunity to, do, to participate in paid internships uh, and receive industry certification. So they're gonna be well-rounded and ready to enter the work workforce right after high school. Did I mention everything was free? All right, back to you, Jessica. 
Thank you, Becky. And thank you to all of our awesome presenters. Um, we appreciate the information you shared so much. And now we are ready to dive into your questions. Um, and we have a number, so we're just gonna start, um, dive right in. And the first one is, is transportation offered to choice schools and programs? And when that transportation include to aftercare facilities? Uh, this is Nancy. So I believe that transportation is only offered from campus to campus. So they would be picking up at the homeschool to the uh, magnet or choice program and back to the, to the uh, home campus. It doesn't include, um, it doesn't drop off at any daycares. Awesome. Thank you, Nancy. Um, which of the schools offer STEM education? Are there, and are there any special requirements for enrollment? Our, some of our transformation and innovation schools do offer STEM and or STEAM. Um, if you go to the website, dallasisd.org slash choose Dallas ISD and look in the school finder um, page for the program that you want to explore. It will give you a list of schools and um, you can search near your home or um, other options for schools that offer STEM or STEAM. And I also included the link in the chat for that question as well. And I'll add as well for the P-TECH program, um, we do have a few campuses that offer engineering um, pathway programs. So they, um, students are getting two year or um, college credits in engineering. Um, so eventually they can path to get their bachelor's degree, but two years of it is already paid for. So there is a STEM connection, if you will, um, on some of the P-TECH campuses. Awesome, thank you all. Anyone else have anything to add before we move on to the next question? There's some advanced manufacturing STEM uh, at Career Institutes North and South. Fantastic, so guys, we got a lot of STEM options, it, just a plethora. So yeah, again, be sure to check out um, dallasisd.org slash choose Dallas ISD and we'll have it all broken down for you there even further when it comes to STEM options and for other options as well. Um, let's uh, talk a little bit about dual language. Um, someone's asking, is there a school that offers, that's a transformation school and a dual language school at the same time? Oh, yes, the, that's a great question. We have a couple of schools that uh, their transformation also offer the dual language program. We have like downtown Montessori, which should go from pre-K all the way to second grade. That's a new school. Eduardo Mata also is another one that offers dual language. You go from pre-K to sixth grade. We have also personalized learning at uh, Houston Elementary. Um, we have also the single gender school, solar prep for boys pre-K to fourth grade, also for the dual language program, and also solar prep for girls, pre-K to sixth grade. Excellent, thank you, Hippolito. Um, now we have another question about tags and magnets, and someone's asking, what is the difference between a tag and a magnet? So a TAG school, a talented and gifted school, a standalone school uh, falls under the magnet umbrella. Now we do have uh, talented and gifted programs um, that's, that are at the home campuses that students can be nominated uh, to, but that would be at the home campus. Uh, the TAG programs that do fall under the magnet umbrella, those are standalone programs. Awesome, thank you, Nancy. Um, this is more of a high school related question. Um, what schools offer business and management? 
Under Magnet, we do have uh, Business and Management High School at Townview Center. Um, that would be the option under Magnet Programs. Uh, I'm sure probably PTEC has some programs as well. Yes, we do actually. Business is one of our larger programs. There's several campuses that offer it. Um, I can name a few um, in, uh, by memory, Molina, uh, WT White, uh, Lincoln, um, Matt, the great James Madison, they all have business programs. There's actually several other schools that have it too. Um, if, you, if you go to the Dallas ISD website, when you're actually applying or looking through the programs, you'll be able to see the um, different program options or pathway options at each school. So um, you can also do a search uh, for PTEC programs on Dallas ISD's website and that should list all of the business management programs we have, but we do have several. Excellent, thank you both. Um, this is a middle school related question and that is what middle schools offer arts programs? So we do have under a magnet, we do have Griner. Uh, who offers arts programs and Sydney Lanier. And those two schools are magnet schools and they do have requirements and uh, the student would have to audition as well. And uh, Ignite, one of our transformation schools does have um, a growing arts program. They have a recording studio and they're developing a choir. And so I um, just encourage you to look at School Finder on Choose Dallas page or, um, and then also just uh, minimize your list by looking for those arts programs. Excellent, thank you both. Um, all right, we're gonna go back to another dual language question. And that is to attend a dual language program, are the students required to speak more than one language at home? Can they be English speaking when they enter the program? Oh, definitely we have our program. If it's a pre-K or K student, ideally we would like for those to be pre-K, K, right? Also we, we allow students to even join at the beginning of first grade. Now, if uh, the student is joining, has some kind of Spanish background and they're joining after first grade, that will be kind of like a campus decision and the, the campus will probably administer a language proficiency test and they will take the decision if they will allow the student to join the program. Excellent, thank you. Um, Jorge, we have a question for you and that is, is there a deadline for transfers? That is an excellent question. While um, transfers are just a little different than, than our other programs in the sense that we will uh, also uh, initially close on, the, on February 7th, along with the other programs. But transfers also um, are flexible in that if there is a, a late transfer request and there's still available space at a certain school uh, that you're applying for, we, we will have that availability for parents. So yes, um, they you can technically request a late transfer as well. And that happens also sometimes because a parent uh, moves in during the middle of the year and they wanna request a transfer as well. So there's situations like that, that, that they'll be able to use to request a late transfer. Great question. Excellent. And we have another transfer question for you. Um, we'll just go and take care of it now. Sure, of course. Can I, yeah, can I ask for a transfer from a normal program to a Montessori program, or do I have to apply as a new student? That is an excellent question. Okay, so, um, a transfer uh, from one from your neighborhood school is just a, a request to attend the neighborhood program uh, in the, the normal the normal uh, school uh, at another neighborhood school. So it wouldn't get you into the Montessori because you have to apply for uh, whatever Montessori school that you that you wish to attend. So just remember that if your a transfer is basically a request from uh, your neighborhood school 
to another neighborhood school, but not necessarily to the programs offered at that other neighborhood school. It's just into the regular school of that other. And one of the things that you have to remember, uh, parents, is the majority of the reasons why a parent requests a transfer, and, and because I'm over it, I see the reasons. And, and really, it's not so much because the, the, they want to just, they don't want to attend their school, but honestly, oftentimes the highest requests are because the parent lives, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, works across town, and they want to have their child closer to them. Um, and uh, or they have a history with that other school, uh, you know, maybe all their, their, their parents went to that school, uh, relatives went to that school, so they want to attend that same school. Uh, the third largest reason that I've seen as well is because um, sometimes just the boundaries don't work uh, in, in for, on your favor, where you may have your assigned neighborhood school far away from you, maybe two miles from you, but another neighborhood school that's not your assigned school, maybe two blocks from you. You know, and so that would be uh, the biggest reason also. So, um, yes, thank you. Thank you, Jorge. That's great information. Um, this question is related to some of our families who are maybe new to the country or a student who's new to the country. Um, so if we're new to the district and the country and don't have the required documents that School Mint asks for, what can we do? I was just answering that question on the chat. So um, um, if you have another document, like a most recent transcript, which I believe uh, is what the parents said, they do have a transcript, they can upload the transcript, that will be enough. After the school reviews the transcript, if they need additional testing, they will contact the parent and schedule the, the test. So if they don't have a map, te uh, map test or uh, any ACP scores. We also have a list of alternative or other options, other tests that we do accept, and that's on the Dallas ISD website, um, dallasisd.org slash magnets. There's a list of tests, other tests that we accept. Excellent, Nancy. Our next question is for career institutes, um, and that is, Will student be able to select multiple pathways throughout the four years in high school, or is it just one pathway throughout their high school career? It is one pathway. Uh, we want them to have a, a sequence of, uh, of courses in, the, in that particular pathway. Um, so it's just one. Just one, excellent. Um, this, this is really for so many of our programs, um, but how are our specialty programs, especially those that are like hands-on, such as Montessori, um, career institutes, project-based learning, how are these programs being implemented during these COVID times? We're making it work. Um, a lot of Zoom meetings. Uh, we have guest speakers. We have panel discussions. Uh, we have tours. You know, we we just try to do it any way we can. But it's it's Zoom, unfortunately, this school year. But we're hoping to turn that around maybe next year. But unfortunately, it's it's just a lot of um, a lot of virtual. Um, I would agree and add to um, Becky's comments. Most of the um, curriculum, especially with the colleges, uh, Dallas College is one of our larger college partners for the P-TECH program um, and early college program. We do have UNT and a couple other schools as well. They're all online. So a lot of the college courses are online. And then for the high school part of the program, students had a choice if they wanna do in-person or if they wanted to um, have virtual learning. So some of them have chosen, um, more students have chosen virtual. So we're just using really creative ways to keep students engaged virtually. And um, I think that we've had some successes because there's a lot of um, supports from industry and others that have uh, pitched in to make the um, experiences even more fun. So I would say uh, mostly virtual and uh, for our, the safety of our students and just what they've chosen and parents have chosen, that's been the option that um, we're currently electing. Does anyone want to share about maybe 
about the programs for some of our younger students um, at our OTI schools or magnet schools or anything? Same as Becky said and Nithya, but also I know what for some of our Montessori schools, they're sharing um, resources with students and um, scheduling different ways to use manipulatives for um, students like sending home and returning to school and things like that. Awesome, thank you all. Um, we have one more COVID related question. Um, and that is, what does the tag magnet assessment consist of? Will it be online um, due to COVID? What does that look like? So the magnet assessment is not online. Um, it is at the campus. If um, the parent or opts to do a virtual assessment, then they would have to contact the school and set that up. But right now they're being scheduled at the campus. Um, the, the assessment, depending on the school, does consist of an essay, uh, a critical thinking test, possible interview. Okay, we have one last question before we need to wrap it up for this evening. Um, and that is for the two new schools that were mentioned earlier, will those have virtual open houses or more information coming for our families? Yes, so we will, um, the principals were recently hired. Um, I'm talking about number of days here that we've just announced the principals for these schools. Uh, construction is about to begin to make sure that we have a safe facility for our students. Um, our hybrid school will be Central Dallas, the Oak Lawn uptown area, and the Paul Quinn College um, is located in South Dallas on off Simpson Stewart. Um, and uh, the principals are getting out information for virtual events and um, our marketing communications team is working to also um, publicize what's going on at these schools through Facebook and different types of videos. Um, so please look at our website and those uh, school websites should be up soon if they're not already. Excellent. Thank you, Elena. And thank you so much to all of our incredible panelists tonight. Um, that's all we have time for tonight, but I just want to remind our viewers that if you have any questions about these programs or need help with filling out your application, please send us an email at choosedallasisd at dallasisd.org or call us at 972-925-5560. We also encourage you to register for one of our other webinars we are hosting this month if you still would like to get more information. Um, remember that the deadline to apply is Sunday, February 7th, and we encourage you to get your applications in as soon as possible. Thank you so much again for spending part of your evening with us, and we hope you have a great night.